Even though there are hundreds of millions of shipping containers that travel the world's oceans each year, not all of them are able to arrive safely at their final destination. Perhaps this explains the loss of hundreds or perhaps thousands of cargo containers at sea. But then we're left with the question, what happens to the shipping containers lost at sea? Is it a treasure at sea that anyone can look for? Cargo inside lost containers can continue washing up on coasts years after the initial occurrence. Huge waves collided with a ship that was transporting containers of Lego in 1997. To this day, hundreds of Lego bricks can be discovered washed up on the shores of Cornwall, England. It would surprise you to know that it's against the law to take any of the items that are found washed up on the beach, especially when they are cargo from containers that have fallen into the sea in time past. If cargo from shipping containers that washed overboard is located, it needs to be reported since the contents still belong to the shipper or, if a claim was filed and resolved, the insurance company. Containers that are lost at sea pose a threat to shipping and other aspects of ocean life. In many instances, containers are used to store chemicals or other potentially hazardous commodities, which can severely affect the surrounding environment. Containers may contain a variety of things in addition to chemicals that are worrisome from an environmental point of view. According to the World Shipping Council report, an annual average of 1,382 shipping containers went missing while being transported at sea between 2018 and 2019. A second rise occurred in November of 2020 and April of 2021, when it was estimated that roughly 3,000 containers were lost in the North Pacific due to five distinct incidences. That's equivalent to having double the annual average. So what's exactly is going on here? Various factors might lead to containers being lost overboard from ships. Before the losses that occurred in 2020-2021, the World Shipping Council published a report examining the issue's full breadth. There was not a single factor that caused the incidents, but rather that there may have been multiple causes. This includes things like inclement weather, the architecture of the ship, challenges with the propulsion, and how containers are lashed together. The deterioration of containers that causes metal fatigue is also a potential factor to consider. It's possible that some containers aren't loaded properly or aren't properly secured before being shipped somewhere with rough seas. Container ships are likewise getting larger, and their cargo holds can now hold as many containers as the height of a three-story building. As a result of the growth in global trade, there are also more of these ships currently sailing the oceans. Storms brought on by climate change, particularly in the North Pacific, could be another factor in this tragedy. The majority of the most recent incidents involving containers have taken place in the Pacific Ocean, which is a region with the highest volume of marine traffic and some of the most severe weather in the world. The losses can be attributed to a variety of factors, one of which is climate change. The voyage has always been difficult, but it has grown increasingly hazardous in recent years because of shifts in the way weather patterns behave. The higher you stack the boxes on deck, the greater the forces they are subjected to when the vessel moves in waves. This could be a contributing factor, especially given the current surge in demand, which has resulted in all ships being loaded to their maximum capacity, and this might have a negative effect on the stability of these ships. When waves strike the front of the ship at an angle rather than head-on, a phenomenon known as parametric rolling might occur. Because of this, the ship may begin to roll in time with the waves, which, when paired with the typical pitching that occurs when a ship goes ahead, may result in containers becoming unfastened from their securing devices and being lost overboard. According to officials in the maritime industry, ship owners are considering the installation of sensors that might offer alerts on the circumstances of the sea in order to prevent it. Salvage Operations A salvage operation may be necessary depending on the nature of the materials contained within the shipping containers and the scope of the investigation into the cause of the incident. The operation's goal is to reduce the negative impact on the environment, recover any lost cargo, and figure out what caused the accident. Suppose you have lost a significant number of containers. In that case, a salvage operation may be required to recover any lost cargo and protect you from further legal repercussions resulting from environmental damage. 
Marine salvage of overturned cargo containers is a time-consuming and expensive endeavor. Salvage organizations charge thousands of dollars for their services and cannot always guarantee that all lost products will be recovered. Because it is extremely likely that the items may be broken and rendered useless, cargo insurance is something that you should always make sure you have, and in some instances, containers can't be located, especially when they're in the middle of the ocean. Flotsam, the hidden hazard. As soon as they touch the water, most containers go straight to the bottom of the ocean pretty quickly. But because of things that they contain, they could float for days or even weeks before sinking below the surface. This process can take significantly longer for refrigerated containers because of their buoyant insulation. One container, for instance, that washed away into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of France, rode the waves for 11 months before it was finally dumped on the southern shore of Great Britain. According to the research of a marine biologist from Switzerland, at least 12,000 shipping containers are thought to be adrift in the oceans around the world. This is a very concerning statistic due to the fact that larger UFOs, sometimes known as unidentified floating objects, represent a huge threat to ocean-going vehicles that are not as large, such as yachts and fishing boats. Because these boxes barely appear at the water's surface, mariners frequently do not discover them until it's almost too late, which puts them at a significant risk of being involved in a collision. Even the ship's radar is of little assistance in this situation because it can only detect massive things above the water's surface. There are consistent instances of vessels colliding, resulting in the need to rescue boats. Hazardous conditions for ships as well as the surrounding surroundings. Containers that are lost at sea pose a threat to shipping and other aspects of ocean life. In many instances, containers are used to store chemicals or other potentially hazardous commodities, which can severely affect the surrounding environment. Fortunately, there have been no major occurrences so far. Nonetheless, containers may contain a variety of things in addition to chemicals that are worrisome from an environmental point of view. And that will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please leave a comment, like this video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can keep up with more incredible videos like this. I look forward to seeing you when we post our next exciting video, and I'll see you then.